Bene. Einstein's riddle. Who owns the fish? The application of deductive logic will produce the answer to this question. Introduction. There are five houses in five different colors owned by five people of different nationalities. Each owner eats a different type of food, drinks a different type of beverage and owns a different type of pet. The solution of the riddle is the answer to the question who owns the fish as a pet? <clears throat> These are the premises of this riddle. So we have to uh, read these premises to start unravel the riddle, to start to find the answer. The Brit lives in the red house. The Swede keeps dogs as pets. The Dane drinks tea. The greenhouse is on the immediate left of the White House. The greenhouse's owner drinks coffee. The person who eats cheese rears birds. The owner of the yellow house eats bread. The man living in the house right in the middle drinks milk. The Norwegian li lives in the first house. The man who eats cakes lives next door to the one who keeps cats. The man who keeps horses lives next door to the man who eats bread. The owner who eats strawberries drinks orange juice. The German eats custard. The Norwegian lives next to the blue house. The man who eats cakes has a neighbor who drinks water. Now, these premises tell us the five nationalities, the five color of the house, the five type of pets, the five type of drinks, and the five type of foods. Okay. Now, how will we proceed? We proceed by filling this grid. The numbers in this line here represent the numbers of the house. So, house number one, house number two, and so on. And here it's evident, color, nationality, drink, food, and pets. Right. From the premise, we will deduce some conclusions that will provide us with the uh, content of the box. So, first, we, let's establish the color of the Norwegian ha Norwegian's house. You see here, we have nationality. Okay. From the premise, we know the Norwegian lives in the first house. Then we know that the Norwegian lives next to the blue house. Therefore, the Norwegian house is not blue. First exclusion, we excluded blue. We know that the green house is not the immediate left of the white house. It's on the, is on the immediate left of the white house. Therefore, the Norwegian cannot live in the white house. And that makes two exclude two colors. Notice the Norwegian lives in the first house and there is no other house to his left. So they can, the Norwegian cannot live in the greenhouse because we have said that he lives next to the blue house. So that makes three colors out. By the, f the other premise we also know that the Brit lives in the red house. Four colors excluded, one left out yellow. The Norwegian must live in the yellow house. And that's how we fill the first two boxes in the grid. Norwegian in the yellow house. First house to the left. Where the horse owner lives, the yellow house owner eats bread. That's by uh, the premises. We know. The house next to the Norwegian's house is blue. And can only be to his right. Okay. The man who keeps horses lives next door to the man who eats bread. So the horse owner lives in the blue house. Okay. And that's how we represent it. Next, which house is green? 
The man living in the middle house drinks milk. That's for, from the premises. The greenhouse's owner drinks coffee from the premises. The greenhouse owner is on the left of the White House from the premises. So far we know that the first left houses are yellow and blue. We know also that the greenhouse cannot be in the middle because the owner of the middle house drinks milk. Okay, while the, gr the greenhouse owner drinks coffee. And we know that owner of the greenhouse must be on the left of the White House. Therefore, the greenhouse is number four, and the middle horse can only be the middle house can only be the red house. There we are. Red house by definition uh, drinks milk. We say the green can only be the fourth house. Okay, it cannot be the fifth because it has to be the left of the white house. Okay. Now, what does drink the owner of the first house? The owner uh, who eats strawberries drinks orange juice. We know that by th from the premise. We know that in the house three, they drink milk, and in the house four, they drink coffee. We know that in the house one, they eat bread. Then, the one who eats strawberries can only be in the house two or five. But this tells us also that the owner of house one does not drink orange juice because it can be only two and five. I think this we know that Dane drinks tea. There is another one. So the Dane drinks tea. Uh, therefore, there is only one beverage left, and it is water. The owner of the house number one drinks water. There we are. This is important because now you see we have filled we have only two drink left to fill in okay and only one house one color which is evident which it is because we know yellow blue red green and white white because uh, from the statement of the prepositions premises in which house they drink Orange juice, that's important, will help us. The man who, eat cake, who eats cakes lives next door to the one who drinks water. So, water, next door, there is door. The man who eats cakes lives next door also to the one who keeps cats. So, now we have the man who keeps cats can be in the house number one or the house number three. Now we know that. The Dane drinks tea, so he can be only in the house 2 or 5. And notice that the German and the Swede could be in 2, 4 or 5. Okay, so you see here. Alright. We know that the one who drinks orange juice could be in house 2 or 5. Since we know that the owner of house 2 eats cake, 5 must be the house where the owner drinks orange juice and eats strawberries. And 2 the house where they drink tea. There it is. So we have now white because that was the only color left. We know that if they eat strawberries, they drink orange juice. So they, if they drink orange juice, they eat strawberries. And number uh, house number two, they drink tea. And that also fills that. Now, where the German lives? We know that the German eats custard from the premises. Therefore, it cannot be in house five. It can only be in house four. And the Swede is in house number five. There we are. The German is custard. It cannot be number five. But it cannot be number three. Because he drinks coffee, so custard. 
Cost 13 number 4, that's where the German is. Final sprint. We know that the Swed keeps dogs as pets from the princess, and the owner of the house 4 eats custard. The only possible food choice for the house 3 at this point is cheese. But we know that the person with cheese rares birds. So we know now. House number 3, cheese. Cheese, birds, field. So if we field the birds here, then in number 1 there should be cats. Okay? But when we have filled those boxes, that's the result. So, who owns the fish? The German owns the fish. As Demonstrata Demonstrandi.